Hi everyone, this is Teo from Puckablocks.com. In this sketching video today, I will be talking about drawing in sketchbooks of different sizes like the small, the maybe the medium size, this one is about A5 or the large uh, size um, A4. So I'll be talking about the advantages of sketching in different sizes and also what you can get out of it because um, it's a very different experience when you draw in different sizes. So let's dive right into it. Let me start by saying that I usually draw in loose sheets like uh, the more common size that I sketch in will be uh, 9 by 12 inches. But when it comes to sketchbooks, I like to draw an A5 size. So this is a typical A5 size sketchbook. This particular one is from Steelman and Burn Alfar. So A5 sketchbook is a very nice uh, compact size that you, it's quite convenient to bring around. Uh, when it comes to drawing and putting details in, you can have enough space to actually put your drawings as well as, uh, as even writing words on it. So I know a lot of artists, they like to use uh, sketchbooks for journaling. So A5, A5 size and above would be very good. Let me just show you some um, drawings. So um, A5, I think is a good size if you want to go abstract like minimalism or if you want to add in details you can do so as well like if you want to add windows to buildings huge buildings you can well draw in the small windows if you want to so this is the normal size um, general purpose sketchbook so and then I started using the smaller sketchbook and when it comes to using a small sketchbook, okay, let me zoom in closer. The mentality that you use when you are using a smaller sketchbook is very different from uh, that when you are drawing in a larger sketchbook because the pages are now so small, you cannot afford to draw in a lot of details. Like, for example, this sketch of the museum, I actually just um, left out a lot of details and just mainly used the bigger shapes. Uh, just to show you the museum. There are actually a lot of details like the windows have like the window panes and stuff like that. There are a lot. Maybe there are some people there, some cars parked in front also. Those I will use, um, I will have to simplify them. So the idea of using a smaller sketchbook is really to uh, simplify uh, things that you draw. Uh, for example, this sometimes you cannot draw too many things. So <clears throat> for this sketch, I focused just on one subject, uh, well, a dead bird. Now imagine if you were to draw this dead bird onto a sketchbook that is this size. This is a A4 size sketchbook. It would look a bit strange, I think. I feel it would look a bit strange. <clears throat> Uh, using a sketchbook also uh, means that a, s a sketchbook of this size would also mean that it's not what about it's not about what you can draw, uh, what you can include. It's more about what you can take out. So in this case, I simplify all the shapes. I did not draw in any windows and stuff like that. So it's about what you can more like what you can take out. Now when drawing complicated scenes like this, uh. I would try to avoid drawing complicated scenes like this in a sketchbook this small. This one, the only thing I remember about this sketch is um, it was quite frustrating to draw uh, so many details into into uh, size of this size. So this sketch was quite frustrating to draw. As for other sketches, um, <clears throat> it's really quite fun because you can finish the sketch uh, in double quick time. So a sketch like this will probably take me about 30 minutes as compared to maybe one hour for the A5 sketchbook. These are nice for your drawing small items, not, not small items, drawing single subjects I mean. These are good if you want to fit in them single subjects. And it's good for uh, say color studies as well and uh, for quick color studies. So uh, using the smaller sketchbook is very 
you think very differently because of the size limitation of the size that you have, the amount of space that you can draw on. Let me show you the A3 sketchbook. This is a sketchbook that I brought uh, to Bali. Now, drawing in a large sketchbook, you have the luxury of space, so you can really fit in a lot of uh, drawings into the sketch, the pages itself. So in this case, this is something that I draw for every one of my sketching trips, the things that I packed. And I can do that in the A5 sketchbook as well, but actually I did it in the A5 sketchbook, I think. Let me show you the difference. Okay, I only managed to draw the pens that I brought. So compare this page and against this page. So this page will have much more information and I can fit all the things that I brought onto these two pages. Whereas on this smaller sketchbook, I have to use several pages to do that. So that's the advantage of having a big sketchbook. You can fit a lot of information into uh, onto the pages. Let me show you uh, some sketches. Uh, for a sketch like this, for example, it would be quite uh, difficult to draw in a smaller sketchbook. Uh, but when you have the space, uh, you can draw in a lot of little details and I think all those details make the scene more lively especially you want to convey a, a busy scene with a lot of things that people can see it also makes uh, your viewer uh, look at the artwork longer because there are, there are more things to see and of course because the sketchbook is bigger and uh, you can draw in a lot of things for example if i were to draw this in maybe a smaller sketchbook i would probably not uh, use so many lines to mark out all the details so in this case i can and this turned out to be a pretty uh, detailed sketch relatively speaking let me show you uh, this is one of us uh, one of the sketch that i like uh, I used double pitch A4, so it's about A3 size, but it's a uh, landscape format. One of the nice things about drawing large is um, you can get an immersive uh, feeling. So now that uh, when I look at a sketch like this, it feels like I'm standing there, uh, almost standing there, because it's really pretty huge. And it's like when you're watching a movie or when you're watching an IMAX movie. Uh, you get the immersive feeling. Same thing with drawing on a bigger sketchbook. If you can even draw bigger, like if you use loose sheet, then it will really feel as if you are standing uh, in front of the, as if you are standing at on location where the artist is drawing the the scene. It happens. Uh, I think if you look at some of the classical paintings, some of them really look as if really. Look feels as if you are standing in front of where the artist is painting especially for those really large um, old school uh, the classical paint, fine art paintings so um, I think that's all so by drawing in a sketchbook of uh, different sizes you are able to you will be uh, forced to think differently because and in a sketchbook like this, you will not be able to squeeze in uh, any details you have to use, like shapes. The shapes have to be strong. Now, in a medium-sized sketchbook, you can um, squeeze in more detail, which is pretty cool. And you can even get to write uh, stuff that's good for journaling. Uh, this is a general, really a general purpose uh, sketchbook, which is probably quite cool. And for a bigger sketchbook, uh, just now I mentioned that you have a really large uh, canvas space that you can draw on. It makes it makes your painting feel more immersive. You can add in a lot of details. But um, when it comes to drawing uh, and sketching on location, this is um, this is going to take a lot of time to draw. For one of those sketches inside, like uh, a sketch like this. 
A sketch like this will probably take me about two hours. A double page spread uh, like what the, like this one. This one will take me about three hours to draw. So if you have the luxury luxury of time, a uh, big sketchbook. But if you're rushing for time, or maybe you just want to do a quick quick sketch here and there, here and there, and then well, smaller sketchbook is the way to go. And I think that's all. If you have any questions, uh, just feel free to ask them in the comments section below. Also, check out some of the links that I put in the description below as well. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'll be posting more sketching videos and art product reviews. Thank you for watching again and have a nice day.